Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about liver dialysis or molecular adsorbent recirculating system also called MARS. Main indication groups for MARS therapy are acute liver failure, acute decompensation on chronic liver disease like complicated by progressive jaundice, complicated by hepatic encephalopathy, complicated by renal dysfunction, intractable pruritus in cholestasis, acute intoxication or overdose with substances potentially bound to albumin. Other indications are like acute hepatic failure after major hepatectomy, after liver transplantation. Liver is one of the most important organs in the body. Liver has many functions like processes digested food from the intestine, controlling levels of fats, amino acids and glucose in the blood, NBSP, combating infections in the body, NBSP, clearing the blood of particles and infections, manufacturing bile, stores iron, vitamins and other essential chemicals, NBSP, and makes enzymes and proteins. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis C. Long-term alcohol consumption. Cirrhosis. Hemochromatosis. Malnutrition. Acetaminophen, Tylenol. Overdose, reactions to certain prescription. And herbal medications. Ingestion of poisonous wild mushrooms. Are the causes of liver failure. Molecular Adsorbent Recirculation System, or MARS. Closest we are to artificial liver. MARS cannot replace a liver, but is a bridge between liver failure and transplant. How it works? Transports a patient's blood to a filter. Call MARS flux dialyzer. Separated plasma. Will circulate with albumin circuit which contains MARS adsorption columns charcoal and resin. In this time lipid soluble toxins will adsorb. Remining will go through diaflux dialyzer. Dialyzer is connected with dialysate and that will remove water soluble toxins. So after passing these filters we can remove both lipid soluble and water soluble toxins. Once again we'll explain for better understanding, the Mars system consists of three compartments, a blood circuit, an albumin circuit and either a HD or HF compartment. The blood circuit generally employs a veno-venous access with a blood pump at a speed of around 150 milliliters per minute blood is passed through a special non-albumin permeable high flux dialyzer membrane usually made of polysulfone, which is capable of absorbing albumin bound toxins the albumin circuit generally contains about 600 milliliters of 20 human albumin and is also driven by a pump at a speed of around 150 milliliters, mint. This is passed through the dialysate compartment of the blood dialyzer where it removes the toxins bound to the dialyzer membrane the dialysate is then regenerated by passing through an activated charcoal column and then through another column containing an anion exchange resin in addition, water soluble toxins are removed from the dialysate by passing it across a low flux HD membrane with a bicarbonate dialysate as in conventional HD heparin is used as anticoagulant at a dose of 250-1000 U per hour each session is around 8 hours and is performed either daily or on alternate day. The number of sessions is decided based on the patient's response generally 5 sittings may be adequate in acute liver failure where a decrease in lilirubin, bile acids, liver enzymes, plasma ammonia levels as well as urea levels can occur. Complications of MARS are, thrombocytopenia is a common though usually mild and occasionally arrhythmias may occur. The approximate cost for the disposable items used in each session is around 200,000. Next we can discuss about beneficial effects of MARS. Decrease in mortality in type 1 hepaterenal syndrome patients. Acute alcoholic hepatitis where a marked fall in serum lilirubin can occur. An improvement in cardiovascular hemodynamics and subsequent renal function can occur. Improvement in encephalopathy and a decrease in intracranial pressure and pruritus has been shown. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More points we'll discuss on next episode.